If you missed our last video, my name is Laura and I'm on a road trip to see every national park in the continental US. We've officially made it to Yellowstone National Park. But this week I picked Courtney up at the airport and we headed into Seattle to check out the iconic Pike Place Market before heading to Oregon. We spent the first night camping at Fort Stevens State Park before starting our drive south. Where we spent two days being blown away by the amazing views and food that we found along the coast. We both expected this trip to be great, but we had no idea just how beautiful the Pacific Coast would be. We just don't think it can get any better, and then we pull over at places like this. We did our best to soak it all in on our way to Redwoods National Park, where we spent a day hiking the jaw-dropping trails before turning our sights back north. We did hit a little bit of a roadblock. The road is closed until 7 p.m. But we made it to the Airbnb late last night and we're ready to take it slow for at least one day of our week vacation. Last night when we got here, it was too dark to look outside, but the view this morning is pretty great. We are right here next to the vineyard and we have a hot tub. And that's really the reason I was so upset yesterday when the road was closed, because we could have checked in here at four o'clock. We would have made it here at like 7.30 at night. So we made it here just at 10 o'clock. We were so tired, we just went to bed. We are here until tomorrow at 10 a.m. Um, luckily we have the whole day planned just to rest and relax. I'm gonna edit some videos and get caught up on everything else before heading to Crater Lake tomorrow. Obviously, that's the plan. We're already distracted with finding a place for lunch and dinner because this area is so cute. Even the winery we're staying at is super adorable. We will get work done, just not as much as planned. corn and poblano, Courtney went with the pepperoni. It looks so good. <laughs> So in Ohio, when you're driving, if something happens where you need to acknowledge that the other driver was nice, we just like lift our hand. It's definitely the Ohio wave. So Courtney said, just go ahead and give them the Ohio wave. And so I went to do this. Apparently there's an Oregon wave and it's more of a flap. So I just lifted my hand. So I did the Ohio wave and she did the Oregon wave, which apparently has a flap. I'm going to have to adopt the Oregon wave. <laughs> it's so unnatural. The Ohio wave is better. We just lift. Oh, hey neighbor. Thanks for stopping. How's it going? Good to see you. In Oregon, they flap. Hey, go to the grocery. Get the newspaper. Didn't see you there. Is it the Ohio wave or the Oregon wave? <laughs> that really got Courtney on that one. We are headed out of our Airbnb. This was an awesome find. I will link it in the description, but just know we found a great deal last minute. We do not have winery budget. 
on this trip. But it was the perfect oasis for us for a few days to catch up before heading to Crater Lake, which is where we're going now. So excited. Today we're exploring Crater Lake National Park. We made it up to Rim Village. We got to see the lake for like a split second as we drove by and our first stop is going to be an overlook to check it out. We have an amazing lunch of all of yesterday's leftovers but this view is really the best part. The original plan today was to go to Lassen Volcanic National Park, but there is a massive wildfire. It's the Dixie Fire that just jumped into the park. They have officially closed the entire thing so that firefighters have enough space to do what they need to do to put out the fire. Of course, that's an awesome plan, except for it changes everything that we had planned for the entire weekend. It's Courtney's last day in California, and of course, I looked at her and said, what would you do? If you could do one thing, what would you do? This is what she said. I wanna go to the Golden Gate Bridge. And since she wants to go to Golden Gate Bridge, and that is exactly where we're headed today. So our original plan was to stay near Mount Shasta last night and go to the park today. And instead, we drove two more hours closer to San Francisco, and we're just an hour outside of the city right now. We have looked at everything to figure out what to do today because it's just to show up in San Francisco and not have a plan sounds horrible to me. So we've done some Googling and I think we have a good day planned. As far as the wildfires, we definitely saw them in action last night on our way to Mount Shasta. It is absolutely crazy to see the burned forest. And then this was the first time I've ever seen a forest actively on fire. Like all of the smoke and everything that we saw over the past couple days and, and in other national parks. I've been seeing smoke since I was in Wyoming. So to actually see a forest actively on fire and drive around it was crazy. And then to have Mount Shasta next to the fire, we just couldn't kind of wrap our heads around what was happening because you have that beautiful mountain next to a horrible wildfire. It was it's crazy. So today we're gonna cap off this week by heading into San Francisco and seeing it for the first time. We came here for our first view of the bridge. Feel it coming in. Golden. I'll call it on golden. Golden. Golden things. We're just standing here waiting for the bridge to go in and out of view. The fog is moving so fast, but still, it is. to at least get a view of it. When I walked up, you couldn't even tell the bridge was right there. This is an excellent spot to see it, but we have things to do and places to be.
This building that we're next to is actually a National Historical Site. This was one of the original Ford plants. They'd roll cars right off here into San Francisco Bay. We decided because of the van to take the ferry in. landed us in a sunny San Francisco. We, on a whim, bought whale watching tickets for tonight. So we landed here at the ferry terminal and I did pick out a restaurant for lunch so we can stop there. But right where we landed, we have this whole market. So we're gonna check that out before we start walking and just soak in the few hours we have here in San Francisco. She's speechless. <laughs> When we jumped off the ferry, this farmer's market was set up and we definitely found a snack to eat either for or before lunch. These are momas. Now that we've eaten almost all of them, there's a really thin wrapper with the ground meat inside. It's lamb for this one, just so much cumin. It is exactly what we wanted. I was checking Yelp on the ferry ride here and found this place. We ordered a shrimp po' boy. Our tour is from 3 to 5.30, so we have time for at least one more snack before we go. It looks good. did struggle to find a way to make the best out of our short time in San Francisco, we ended up buying tickets through San Francisco Whale Tours. This was perfect because there were still tickets available the night before. In addition to spotting whales, this gave us a great chance to see San Francisco Bay. There were definitely great views of the city skyline and we were able to see Alcatraz. We were able to pick out Alcatraz on the ferry ride over, but this gave us a much closer look. As we exited San Francisco Bay, we started to see the fog build just as we got to the bridge. Even though it obstructed the view, it was so neat to go under the bridge while it was foggy and just get that up close look. I think the bridge ended up being as big of a highlight on this trip as the whales. After that, we took a 13 mile trip out into the ocean. The boat captain did not hold back. He mentioned that we might get sprayed with a little seawater, but I was soaked. I'm not sure we'll ever be able to beat these views of the bridge. And then after that, we went 13 miles into the ocean. Courtney spotted a dolphin, and then we were able to watch two humpback whales. We bobbed around on the ocean for quite a while, and the whales are pretty far away. I tried to zoom in as much as possible, but I'm definitely going to cut to the highlights. Just know that we had an absolute blast on this tour. <laughs>
there was an R. No nope, bird. That. Oh man, I hope someone got that. I think I got it. Is that awesome? Yeah. Wow. Oh. We just finished our whale watching tour. We went about 13 miles out into the ocean, watched two whales as they jumped and fed and, and just swam around the boat. We saw whales. <laughs> we saw whales. The full tour was two and a half hours. We went under the Golden Gate Bridge and came back through the Golden Gate Bridge, which was almost just as fun as being out there watching the whales. The bridge is really fogged in today, so you couldn't see very much of it. But being able to take the boat by Alcatraz and see what we could was so beautiful. I'm dropping her off tomorrow to head home, which is just really sad. And then I'll be heading out on my next adventure. Thank you for coming along with us as we went down the Oregon coast. Hopefully you saw all of the beautiful views that we did and that you're planning to make the trip yourself. Courtney has actually become the biggest advocate for taking the 101 down the Oregon coast. Oh, you have to do it. You have to do it in your lifetime. Hopefully you're planning your trip and this helps you decide where to stop. We're gonna find a few more treats here and we'll see you on the next trip.